Cooking in Deep Broken is bugged. More specifically, we're talking about the MasterChef talent, which should give you a 30% increase to buff foods. I assume most of you know the two cooking talents, but in case you don't, the two you need to care about are Artisan Chef, which provides 25% more hunger and thirst, and Master Chef, which we just discussed that doesn't really work against food. The requirements for both are eating and cooking 40 or 50 max foods. They're not game breaking in any way, but they're good quality of life. Plus they provide free buffs to your foods which is very useful if you're trying to mid-max a build. For example, in order to one-cycle grip chaser, we often use the strength broods in our speedruns. Alright, so for the food buffs, we ended up testing M1 damage, Mantra damage, speed, health regen, ether regen, and finally saturation. Although we didn't actually decide to test saturation, just because it's not really impactful compared to the other buffs. Let's get into the test. We tested M1 and Mantra damage respectively. We also decided to test health regen and speed. Speed was a bit odd to test, you'll see why a little bit later. All the tests were done on a power 1 freshie and we didn't have give or take or the Knorr passive. Alright, starting off with a normal M1, it did 17% to us, which isn't bad. And in Ice Lance, it did 26%. Now eating a normal mushroom omelette to give us a strength buff with no artisan, the M1 was doing an 18% damage. Now with the artisan buff, it should do 19%, but it still did 18%. This checks out as 5% damage, but artisan didn't work. Alright, now to test mantras. We started by eating a normal candied fruit, which gave Iceland's 27% damage. And it should be 29% for Artisan, but it still ended up being 27%. To test health regen, we decided to knock a power 1 freshie, and wait until they fully regen. But as you can see, it took quite a while to naturally regen to 10% health. 1 minute and 27 seconds. Next we did the same thing, but this time I'm going to eat a fruit salad to get the regen buff. Hopefully it's a little bit faster. While it's a little bit hard to tell, we ended up getting a full 20 seconds faster to get to 10% health, which is pretty good. And finally we used the artisan food buff. Which, if it's not bugged this time, should result in an even faster regen time. While the difference wasn't huge, it saved us 3 seconds. Remember how I said speed tests were weird? Basically what we did is M1 an opponent to get the Scandy Cat buff, then we'd walk to the other side of guild base. Yeah, it's a pretty hard way to test, but you'll see why when we actually test it. So we tested one with Artisan and one with the normal cake buff. And the difference was very small to say the least. So at least we can confirm that Mantra damage and M1 damage don't work with Master Chef, while speed and health regen do work with the Master Chef buffs. So hey, it's a little weird, but at least not everything is bugged. Now let's go over the best foods to actually make. This will be the name, this will be the ingredients, and this will be what it provides you. Starting with buff foods. Cake is pretty easy to make. Candied fruit gives you a mantra damage buff. Fish omelette essentially acts the same, but is a carnivore food. Fruit salad is the best and easiest food to make for regen. Glazed fish are good for your weapon. Mushroom omelette is vegetarian. Seafood boil is a personal favorite of mine. Sticky Bun is really good for ether regen. That wraps up the best of all buff foods. Now let's talk about the good non-buff foods. Crab Pizza, a food illegal in most luminance, provides the most hunger out of any food in the game. Besides one, Artisan Grilled Cheese is the second funniest food behind...
Mushroom stew and mushroom soup is a basic food. Urchin stew is a godsend for a deep bound. Sushi is pretty easy to make and gives decent food. But finally, absolute garbage that is not fit for consumption. Okay, let me like turn the AIDS mic on. Cooked squid? Just eat calamari. Cooked eggs? I'm gonna scramble whoever eats this in game. Dried seaweed? Unless it's on sushi, get that out of here. Fish stew is just totally pointless, and fruitcake doesn't even have enough sugar in it where it's gonna give you type 2 diabetes. And who's stealing 50 eggs from Thresher Nest to make a normal omelette? Plum fruit muffin is probably getting sued by the muffin man, and red juice probably tastes like... Connection terminated. <laughs> Alright, where do you farm these foods? Because it's actually pretty easy to do. While you could get it same day delivered by your Amazon delivery driver, you can pretty easily farm foods in game. I'm sorry, but getting someone else to do it for you isn't viable in today's economy. So first, you want to talk to this guy and get the Harvester talent. Do I really need to explain why this is good for farming foods? Etrus is plentiful for ingredients you need. There is an absolute ton of calabash bushes, as well as mushroom spawns. Seriously, there's so many. Fungos are also plentiful on the trees, and there is a ton of pommers near Lord Regent's palace. And finally, there is a lot of reds at vigils. For tree sap, there is a few trees that can spawn them near Nomad's camp, as well as wheat, which is all around the tents at Nomad's camp. So these two items are really close together if you're going to need it. Now don't tell anyone, but if you want to get a lot of eggs, you're going to have to commit a crime. So you want to go to Thresher Nest and deal with the Threshers first. Then after it's dead, you can go steal as many eggs as you like. As you can see, there was five in this singular batch alone. Plus the good thing about Thresher Nest is there is quite a lot of fruit around these initial bushes. So if you need those two, it's pretty easy. If you come deeper into Thresher Nest, there is even more eggs for you to take. Urchins spawn throughout these walls and the depths, and for fishing, you're just gonna have to manually do it. Truly a deep working experience. And cheese can be bought in an industrial amount at Lance's food store at Vigils. Anyways, now you understand how to collect foods and get good food buffs. Well, kinda. I'll ping Archmage and hopefully he'll make MasterChef work on everything. But at least now you know how to use food to your advantage in your next fights. And you also know how to collect all the ingredients for it. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe because a lot of you aren't. And check out some more content because there's a lot of awesome stuff on the channel. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time.